big news is underdog Cornell going up against Kentucky tonight in the Sweet 16. Of the 68,000 people who filled out brackets on the Bloomberg Terminal, just 46 picked Cornell to upset Kentucky. Michelle Steele is at a place that's going to be celebrating tonight whether Big Red wins or loses, but I'm going to guess it's going to be a more jubilant celebration, Michelle, if there's a win. Yeah, probably. I think those 46 people will probably set this place on fire tonight. The Cornell Club in Midtown Manhattan. Uh, if number 12 Cornell does manage to upset number one Kentucky. Now the big red grill and tap is where Cornell alums are going to be tonight at 10 p.m. for that tip off. There are lots of underdogs. Let's remember to choose from Northern Iowa, St. Mary's, but Cornell's gotten the most buzz for its history making run. Think about it, guys. No Ivy League team has made it to the Sweet 16 since 79, nor has in the Ivy League team won an NCAA tournament game period since 1998. 12 years ago, fans understandably are pretty pumped. Go Big Red. I'm going to be home. Uh, my son, who's a junior at Cornell, is going to be up there in Syracuse cheering him on. And, uh, I'll look for them in the crowd, but I'll be cheering them on at home. I'm an adjunct professor at uh, NYU, and I teach Thursday night. And uh, I scheduled my class so that it would end in time for me to make it over here for the game. Even if they're a million to one, you know, it could, just, it could be like David and Goliath. We'll find out. I think it's more than a million and one if you look at those brackets. Anyway, tickets to tonight's game are 190 bucks, according to FanSnap, making it the most expensive regional matchup tonight. A reflection both of the interest, of course, of New York City fans as well as the magnitude of the game overall. Now, we took a look at the alumni list for both schools. Kentucky's got a couple good ones. They've got Ashley Judd. They've got Pat Riley. Cornell, though, has got Sandy Weil, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, uh, Bill Nye, the science guy, Al Bernadine. He invented the quarter pounder at McDonald's. And uh, Huey Lewis, but not the news, almost graduated from Cornell.